Hey there, it's Laurel. Welcome to another Simply Card Making video. And today I'm back with my next Ready, Set, Stamp with LLC. It's the monthly collaboration with myself, Katherine Pooler, and Laura Sturks. And today we're gonna be using some products from Lawn Fawn. We're going to use the Toboggan Together Stamp Set and Die, and also the Snowy Backdrop Die. I'm gonna show it all again here in just a second. I was moving fairly quickly here. Uh, so we're all going to be using the same products and we're gonna create entirely different things. It's amazing to see what we all uh, make when the collaboration goes live because we don't really see it ahead of time either. It's just fun to see how different everything is using the same product. So I've got my Misty stamping tool here and I'm just lining up the images, all the different images, onto the cardstock I've got there nestled in the left-hand corner of the Misty. So I'm lining everything up. I'm going to be doing some coloring here. Going to stamp all of these images with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because that is a Copic friendly mark or ink, and I'm going to be coloring with the Copic markers. Ugh, I know, I know. I normally don't uh, show the Copic coloring on uh, camera here, but I'm going to today. I know. So I like this Misty because if I didn't get a perfectly stamped impression the first time, I can just ink up all of my images again and press down again because as long as I have my cardstock placed where it was and as long as I haven't moved the images off of the, uh, the hinge door there, uh, I'm gonna get a perfect impression every single time. It's just fantastic. I also decided to take that little tree from the stamp set and I'm just gonna stamp it in there with some green Hero Art Shadow inks as well. I need some green trees. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in and do some Copic coloring. Now I am not an expert, by God, you're gonna see I'm not an expert here. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go in and color. I'm gonna to try to put the caps right up on the screen so you can see what colors I'm using. It's hilarious because I always pick the chisel tip of the marker first. I don't mean to, but it seems without fail, and you'll see this when I get into my Copic coloring here, I always grab the wrong end. It drives me bonkers. But on a Periscope I was doing live, someone said to mark the brush tip with some washi tape. So I'm gonna do that, and that will keep me from picking up the wrong <laughs> uh, tip every single time. So I'm just gonna go in again, do some Copic coloring. I am not an expert. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to continue to play around until uh, I get the look that I want, and then I will play this music here in the background and then join you when I'm done. You're welcome to fast forward through this whole part if you wish. <laughs>
you still here? <laughs> um, if you're here, great. I'm glad you stuck with me through this coloring process here. I'm just about done here. I'm gonna go in, add some brown to the tree trunks, and then I went ahead and I've got the coordinating dies here, so I went ahead and, and lined them up right over the stamped images. I secured them down with some surgical tape, and then ran them through my die cutting machine. And then you get these cute little images here. Um, if you don't have the coordinating dies, you can fussy cut these images out. Or if you have the brother scan and cut, you can do it that way as well. So here's the snowy backdrop die I was telling you about that we're all gonna be using. So I ran it through my uh, die cutting machine and I love all the bits that it leaves behind because if you like to make shakers, you can use the bits that that die leaves behind to put in your shaker. I know. <laughs> so I've got three different color distress inks here, tumble glass, peacock feathers, and ship sapphire. And I'm just spraying uh, right onto my cardstock here. This is gonna act as a base. You're not gonna see, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. I wanted to have some color for to set, when I set that dye uh, on top, I wanted to have this beautiful blue in the background shining through. So I went and sprayed, and then I just dried it with my heat tool to speed it along. And then I'm just gonna adhere that die cut down right over the top and you get those different gradients of the blue from those distressed sprays. Those sprays make it super easy. You just spray and walk away. Or in my instance, I, I zapped it with the heat tool so I could finish this card. So now I wanted to create some snow. Now Lawn Fawn has some fun dyes uh, that you can make snow banks, or you can just take some paper and just cut out snow banks if you want, but I wanted to go in and create some texture. So I'm just gonna use some white embossing paste. I'm using it by Dreamweaver. Wendy Vecchi also has a great embossing paste, or you could try the Ranger Texture Paste in white. And I'm just gooping it on here. I mean, that's really all I'm doing. I'm taking my palette knife, kind of mixing it around because I really want all that uneven texture to mimic the look of snow. So I just let it dry. Didn't take too long to dry. And you get this nice, uh, firm, textury look here. And I just think it's so cool. So now I'm gonna start adhering my scene here. And this is fun uh, because I'm gonna end up moving it all around. It's a little crazy. But I'm gonna be using some score tape here because it's a super strong tape. And I'm not pressing too hard yet. I've gone ahead and, and put it down on my card base there. But I, I, I didn't press it hard because I wasn't sure how all this was gonna line up on my card. So, and I'm using score tape, and tape instead of some liquid glue or other glue runners because I really need it to be strong to stick to that embossing paste. I'm going to pop up some of the images with some foam dimension. That's a little snowball I wanted my reindeer to uh, be holding a snowball. <laughs> These images are so cute, they can hold things. There's presents, there's all these different critters and all kinds of things fit on this sleigh. It's really cool. Uh, ignore this because I'm not even gonna end up using this hat, ironically enough. I used some multi-matte medium to put the hat down on top of the deer and I ended up not liking it, so I'm gonna remove it. Now, I didn't take care when I was doing some Copic coloring because I knew I was gonna go in with my white gel pen and add that white back to the deer's back there. So that's why I was quickly just not paying any attention. Now here, I'm gonna realize that uh, I gotta move my deer over and my sleigh over more to the left. It's not gonna fit onto my card. So I'm gonna remove that hat. I'm not even gonna use it at all. And since I use that multi-matte medium, uh, it's gonna dry completely clear. So you're never gonna see that adhesive on the deer's head. Because I didn't press down firmly to lock that score tape in place, I think it's also referred to as be creative tape as well. Um, I was able to lift that up and I'm gonna move it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a fresh piece, a fresh strip. I like the score tape because it's super strong and you can rip it with your fingers. You don't gotta have, grab any scissors and cut it. I'm, I'm a lazy crafter. And at some point I'm gonna realize, Laurel, I don't like the hat on that deer's head. Can we just move the hat? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna adhere the little a string there that the uh, the deer is pulling with some multi-matte medium because I love that stuff. It dries clear and it's really, really strong. So I'm gonna adhere that down with the multi-matte medium there. And I think that's so cute. And now I've removed the hat. The hat has just disappeared. It's like poof, gone, magic. And now I've got that little uh, bundle of snowballs there I just put in front of the deer. It tied into the, the snowball that the other deer on the sleigh was holding. Now it's time to add some of those trees that I stamped and die cut separately. I'm just gonna kind of figure out where I want them to go. Again, using the score tape here. I think that one I lay flat, then I'm gonna go ahead and pop the other tree up with some foam dimensions. So that's just some like pop dots, but they're squares, little square foam dimensions. I just cut them down to size so they would fit on the tree. So I've got one popped up and one laid flat. I think that's kind of cool. And now it's time to work on the sentiment here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that with some onyx black ink. 
It's a pigment ink. I love this ink for sentiments because it's so crisp and it's so black. And I there's a lot of cute punny sentiments in this stamp set, but I'm going to go with just the traditional Merry Christmas sentiment for this one. You can build on it. It's like Merry Christmas to a dear friend. There's some cute things that uh, sentiments that you can create, but I'm just going to keep it simple and just do Merry Christmas. Because that's a pigment ink, I can sprinkle on some embossing powder because it's going to stay wet longer. So I just dumped it in the tub of a clear embossing powder you see there, and I'm just going to zap that with my heat tool to give me a nice, bold, crisp image. Then I'm going to take that tumbled glass distress stain. I worked over a shoebox this time, and I just sprayed that down so easy. I love the spray stains. They're so much fun. So I let that dry, and then I just cut that strip down to a, a size that was visually pleasing to me. If you want thicker or wider or whatever, it's totally up to you. And then I just added some foam dimension to the middle of that sentiment strip. I left some hang, you know, I, I didn't put any on the left and right. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this base, this panel down, to some aqua blue cardstock there. I've got a little bit showing on the left and the right hand side. Ties into the sentiment there and also the blue background uh, underneath those stars nicely. And then I'm just trying to figure out where I want that sentiment strip to go. So I just peeled up the backing paper and I'm just going to press it down. I like that it kind of uh, lifts up a little bit on the left and right hand side there because we didn't add any dimension there to the, to the back side of that. So now I've got this glaze pen. And I like using it for eyes. It really adds, it accentuates the eyes and gives it a teeny tiny bit of dimension. You can see the sentiment, how it's kind of hanging off the top there. I just think that's kind of cool. And that double-sided phone tape is going to hold that thing in place. And that's the card. So much texture, so much fun, so much coloring. Uh, I had a blast uh, creating with this stamp set. Super fun. So, yeah. So, ready, set, stamp with... LLC. To the left there is the one that I did for our la our very first collaboration, and to the right is just some coloring with those Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. I thought you might want to take a look at that as well. So be sure to check out Laura Sturks and Katherine Pooler's uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to link it right below uh, to see what they've made for our collaboration. And thank you so much for watching and hanging with me for this entire long video. Have a great day.